It's five o'clock on the Wednesday, and it's time for. Great Morning Special Review Show. I'm Craig. I'm Reddit. Welcome back to another review show. We're going to be looking at four tricks this week, and uh, there's some very interesting ones that we're going to be looking at this week. There's some that are really good, some that are good but flawed, and we're going to get into that right now. Uh, the first trick we're going to be looking at is by the. Uh, well, it, it's been marketed by Theory 11. And you know, when something comes out by Theory 11, it's always something you want to listen to. Let's have a look at this first review right now. So first up, we have Distancia by Le French Twins and Theory 11. And Distancia is basically, um, I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. There is an awful lot you can do with it. But the, the trick that they're mainly using on the trailer is the way to flip a coin. Is the way to flip a coin. So, so the concept here is that you have somebody, uh, you, you show a coin, uh, the coin is provided, it's a half dollar, it has to be that coin. Uh, you put the coin onto the spectator's hand, you borrow a glass, you put the glass on the spectator's hand, you have them hold their hand out, they raise their hand up and the coin flips over when it's underneath the glass. It does, I've had it done on me a few times when rylan has been practicing, it does feel really weird. Like it yeah, does feel... you can feel... just feel like the balance of the coin on your hand. Just and there's no like... wires. There's yeah, no I, no... I felt it. I was like doing it to myself. I was like, what? Yeah, there's no wires, there's no threads. It looks super magical. Like, it really looks very, very cool. Um, I'm going to do, get Ryan to do a full performance of it, first of all. I think that the project is flawed in a couple of different ways, but we'll get to that in a bit. But first of all, let's have a look at this. So let's have a look at this uh, uh, Ryan performing Distancia right now. Ready? Yeah. I have got two things here. Okay. I've got a glass and I've got a coin. Okay. Now I need to hold your right hand out. Okay. I'm going to grab the coin and I'm just going to put the coin in the hand. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Look, I'm going to put the glass on the coin. Mm -hmm. Now, can I get to that in any way? No. Okay. If I just grab your other hand, just put it here. I'm just going to You're gonna... slowly lift it up. As... What? I'll lift your hand up, the coin lifts up too. What? And you can see it just bouncing there. That feels so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it fall in three, two, one. What? And you can examine everything. That's incredible. Okay, so that's that's a performance. And, and honestly, I think that's amazing. I mean, that's the sort of thing that they would do, Dynamo would do, or David Blaine would do, or something like that. Yeah. Like, it's a really cool performance, a uh, really cool trick. Now, I think we can talk about methodology here. And I think the reason we can talk about the method and how it works is because on the trailer for this trick, they openly tell you what it is. Yeah. So they openly say. So yeah, the, Mom they even said they're giving it away on the trailer. Yeah. So you get a magnet basically. This the watch, strongest magnet in the world. Yeah, they talk about this being the strongest magnet in the world. You can't get a magnet like this. It's been built from the ground up specifically for this trick. You also get a holder. Uh, you get a sticker to put on top of it. So it's designed to look a little bit like a smartwatch. Um, so the magnet is a real strong magnet. And it is a real strong magnet. Like Ryland. I, I was just walking around. I I I walked up to Daddy and get and I just. I just walked, I was supposed to just walk past him. I had the watch on and I just walked past him and I got stuck to something in his pocket. And then he went to get a spoon for your mom while we were waiting to film and like 15 spoons stuck to your, <laughs> stuck to your gut. This is a ridiculously strong magnet. Now, therein lies the first problem I have with this trick because honestly. Yeah, what... I, I tried to do it in a restaurant and I just walked up and I was like. <laughs> you stuck yourself to the table in your residency, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> therein lies the problem the first problem with this is if you could switch this magnet off if there was like a button that allowed you to switch the magnet off would this be would be problem. amazing however the fact is it's sitting on your hand the entire time which means that you've got to wear long sleeves which is a game changer for me i don't like wearing long sleeves i like wearing my sleeves up so in one of your performances the n series yeah at the end if you watch carefully you can see the wallet the wallet just stuck to my arm Really? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Right, you'll you'll see that later on then. Um, but yeah, so I wear sleeves. You, uh, you, you, uh, I don't like wearing sleeves. You kind of kind of really got to wear a sleeve when you're doing this because the watch is being held like this, and you don't mind it needs to be under your, under your clothing, don't you? 
If you could switch this off, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. The fact that you can't switch it off means that for a walk around performer, a close up performer, or a table performer, this is really impractical, especially when you consider the price because it's gonna get in the way of everything. If you're performing in a restaurant and there's, uh, there's, there's uh, knives and forks and spoons around and stuff like that, you have gotta be really careful. Just putting it on this table, there is metal on this table like yeah, there is I, most I, tables. I put my hand here and I was like, mm. well, it was somewhere near here. And I was, and I was just like, mommy. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, that's that's the problem. It is so ridiculously strong. Yeah, it's going to interfere with yeah, every the, other trick you do. The coin broke through the glass. It actually broke one of our glasses, got through the glass onto the coin, and we barely could get it off. When you were practicing, right? Yeah, we had to yeah. take the whole thing apart. Yeah, so, I mean, that's that makes it kind of impractical for a gigging situation. If I was Dynamo, and I was walking up to somebody to do one trick, and I wanted to do something that was going to blow people away, would I do this? Absolutely. Would I take this to a gig not a snowball's chance in hell because it's going to interfere with absolutely everything else that i do now that's not the only problem you with it, it you just get something out of your pocket and you've got that on mm -hmm. if, it, if it's something me metal in your pocket you're trying to get something out now there's some you just come out and there's a million things stuck to you now there's some tricks where they wrap this thing around your leg uh, which again, in my opinion, is a little bit impractical because of various different reasons. I mean, the main reason is you you're going to get stuck to everything as you're walking around. Um, but a lot of the other tricks, to be honest, outside of the, I mean, out, outside of the main trick that Ryan just performed, there's a lot of stuff that's on here that's impractical. Uh, there's a haunted deck, uh, which I kind of suppose works, but I put a not magnet, really. I put a magnet under the cards once. I had something metal in my hand and I just went... He's like, oh God. Yeah, there's a thing that they're uh, they're doing on their Instagram where a coin is vanished and then just appears um, in the air. It just it just like appears out the air and lands into a drink of water. That is the most impractical trick I've ever seen. You've got to have a coin already in a drink of water, and you're going to have to be using your um, you're going to have to be sitting at a table and you're basically using the magnet under the table. It's a very very impractical method. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not going to do this. Uh, I, I just don't know where you would do this. This is really the sort of thing that you do. Like, you wouldn't do this as a stage performer um, because you're going to get stuck to all of the props. You're not going to really do this as a close-up performer. You're not going to do this as an amateur or hobbyist in a close-up, sort of an informal situation because you're not going to go out with this on your wrist. And, and yeah, this would work really well for TikTok or Instagram or, or socials. But there's a million ways to make a coin flip over you if you're doing it on TikTok, like just use Invisible Thread or something. I don't know where the market for this is. If, Like I said, if you could switch the magnet off, it'd be amazing. But the fact that and it feels, it feels yeah. like they have this really good trick, which is the coin flipping over, and everything else has been kind of added as like, a, mm, you, know, you can do this, like there's a vanish and it just sticks to your arm. It's, I, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to do this if I if I bought I bought this specifically to review if I bought this specifically to put in my show I'm probably actually I'd be disappointed. Use the magnets. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably use the magnet to like do sort problems out yeah. like if there's something metal that's stuck in somewhere and I can't get it out. I just go, <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna use a hundred pound plus trick to fix something if you ever need a magnet to fix. Okay, right, fair enough. Yeah. I I, I can see <laughs> you doing this on your Instagram channel. Just have it on my what wrist and go. <laughs> um, look, I'm going to give this 50%. It's not terrible. Um, it's, in fact, like I say, you know, there's people out there that can maybe make a reputation with this. Right time, right place. This is brilliant. Um, I mean, maybe like a wedding fair, possibly, if you're a wedding fair and you just have one trick you were doing and you did that trick. I mean, the actual effect is incredible. What you just saw Ryland do, it feels so weird. It's a really good trick, like a really good trick. The only problem is you're going to get stuck to everything. I just think it's very impractical, yeah, which is why I, I'm... Walking along the street, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to give it 50%. The tutorial's good. It's well made. It's, it's a really good effect, but there are limitations, 55. which is why 55 from me... Fi uh, sorry, 55 from him, 50% from me. It's good. It's just very impractical. Um, let's move on with the next review. Okay, so next up we have RBG by the N2G, uh, N2G team, and this is another one of the N series. Uh, and if you don't know what the N series is, Chinese. it's a series of this coins. Is the, this is the one, do you know you just saw the magnet one? Yeah. And this is the one with a par sticking to be at the end. 
Yeah, really, the purse sticks each <laughs> yes. So what, watch the performance. You'll see a, a purse sticking to Ryland's arm at the very end. end. Um, so yeah, what this is, this is another one of their coin series. The, the end series, all of the coins match up, so you can actually match the different uh, sets up and, and you can combine the different routines. It's a really clever idea. Yeah, there are quite a lot of mm. routines. Like, mm. Almost every routine. You, do the, you do the end series hopping half routine, don't you? Like, all yeah, of I've, the got time. It, I've got it with my walking liberties. Yeah, you keep it in your walking liberties, don't you? I'm turning my bedroom into a magic room. He is turning his bedroom into a magic room, yes. We have lots of posters and floating shelves. Have and you? Yeah, 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 it's it's gonna look amazing, but they don't care about your bedroom. Um, I'm gonna do a performance of this. The reason it's called R B G is because it stands for red, black, green. Uh, because you get a red coin, you get a black coin, you get a green coin, and then you get a gimmick coin. Oh, did you not know that? That's why it's called. That. Um, so I'm gonna do a performance. Now there's about seven or eight different routines on here, uh, and I have a problem with the tutorial. And if you've seen me review one of these before, you'll know what the problem it's a good trick. is. It's a good trick. Um, but there's seven or eight routines. This one that I'm gonna perform is called my favorite routine because the guy that created this, this is his favorite routine. And I can understand why. It's like a cross between wild coin, coins to purse, copper and silver, uh, two copper, one silver. There's a whole bunch of different routines kind of all amalgamated into one. It's very clever. And, and all it uses is a... Yeah, it uses just four coins. It just uses... Uh, and a... Uh... Uh, yeah, and a gimmick. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna perform that for you now, and then we'll talk about what we think. Okay, right. I have a little purse, right? Yes. And inside the little purse, I have three coins. Now these are Chinese coins. They have yes. symbols on them, which mean made in Taiwan. There is a green one. There is a red one. There is a black one. Three all together. I've got another coin, but which we'll get back to in a minute. First of all, do you want to examine those coins? Check them out. Make sure they're okay. Make sure they are what they appear to be. Just three normal coins. Is that okay? Yes. One, two, three. Good stuff. Yes. Um, I should also tell you that I have another coin in here, and this coin is a wild coin. And the reason it's a wild coin is because um, it can take on the characteristics of any coin that it touches. Now, inside the purse, it's actually been touching the black coin. So because it's been touching the black coin, it's, it's black, right? But if I do this and snap, it starts to look like the red coin because it's touching the... Uh, the red coin, that's how it works. I can actually do it with the green coin. If I have it touch the green coin, wait for a second, it turns green. How weird is that? Now, if I put it back with the black coin and I wait a second, it actually starts turning black again. And that's what that wild coin does. Now, I'm going to put the wild coin away for a minute because sometimes when I do this sort of stuff, people say to me, well, hang on a minute. It was too much to watch. I didn't know. It's too confusing. So I'll just use three coins. Okay. Uh, yes. We'll take the red one, we'll take the green one, we'll take the black one. Yeah. Now, it's very, very simple. If I take these two here, the two colourful ones, yeah. and I put the two colourful ones over here, where are the two colourful ones? Yeah. Okay, so you missed the switch. Most people do. No, that's absolutely fine. You missed the switch. It's not a problem. You see, there's a switch when you can't see it, but there is. You see, you take those two coins out here, and it's when I touch my thumbs together that they, they change places. It's kind of really weird when you think about it. But again, maybe there's too many coins to follow because there's three coins. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put two of the coins away for a second. I'll put these two coins away. And that just leaves us with the black coin. Now it's easy to follow. Where's the black coin? There. Well done. Where's the black coin? There. Well done. Where's the black coin? Give you a clue. Give you another clue. I don't think you're going to change it to No, that no, much. where's the black one? Um, there. Yeah, you see, you got it right. If I want to change it to the red one and the green one, I'd just, uh, I'd just wave it like this and do that, and then it'll change to those two. And if those two are over there, it means the back one's back in here. It's very confusing, really, isn't it? I'll tell you what. We'll try one more thing. Look. See, if it, now I've shown you all of this. Watch. Do you see the three coins? Yeah. If I put the... Uh, the can I get the... Uh, hang on a minute. Let me just... Yeah, no, no, yeah, I'll do this. I'll take the black one. I was going to take the other two. I'll take the black one. This time, instead of taking the other two into this hand, I'll take the black one. So where's the black one? You know it's there. I can't cheat. You can see where it is. Where's the black one? You're going to change that to me. No, it's there. Where's the black it's one? There. No, you, see? you. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you're right. I, che I cheated. But here's the thing. I understand how all of that works. This is what I don't understand. If I wave my hand over like this and squeeze and tap, what actually happens is those three coins disappear. And the reason they disappear is because, listen to this, over here, inside the purse now, we have all three coins, and you can examine everything. 
So there you go. That is the uh, the favourite routine that I the person who created it. I want to keep looks so cool. Well, the coins the coins are great, um, and that routine is fabulous. I'm telling you right now. This is that trick. I'm going to do, put it into my act. I'm definitely going to really? do that. I think there's so much magic in that routine. I think it's great. There's other stuff that you can do with it as well, which is yeah. really good. In fact, give me the purse with this in. There's one of those two purses you've got it in. Okay. There's so many other routines that are really good. And what they do is they talk about how you can combine this coin set with other coin sets to get uh, that are in the end series that allow you to kind of do even bigger routines. But they're classed as bonus routines. Right, come on. There you go. They're classed as bonus routines. Uh, another thing that you can do with it very quickly, which I thought was really good, is there's this very simple coins across where you've got a green one, a red one, and a black one. And you close them up in your hand and you say, look, they're gonna go up the sleeve, across the chest and down, and you squeeze, and the first one goes across, which is the black one. I know how to do that. Yeah, one. I know, but how it's, the trick works. Yeah, obviously, but it's really good. And then you do that one and the next one goes across, and that one's the uh, the red one, and then finally you get the last one to go across the green one and the hand's empty. Just there's loads of really good stuff that you can do with it. I really, really I want to keep the green coin. I'm having this set. No, no. If you, want me to get, if you want me to get your set, I will, but that, that one's for me. Uh, I really like this. Now, the negative I've got to it is the tutorial is terrible. Uh, the tutorial is um, all done to music. It looks like it's been filmed in a hotel room with a balcony behind them. Uh, it's all done to music. And you all said they that do. Before about the answer, yeah, and all they do is they go through the moves and and they it's just perform the, No, they perform the moves uh, in an exposed angle and just have music playing over the top. And it's really difficult to follow what's going on. When I learned that trick, that one that I performed Actually, no, for you. Actually, that's my favorite routine then. Because it comes up with the name of the trick at the beginning of each one. Oh. Um, when I learned that trick, it took me so long. I had to rewind and keep rewinding and keep rewinding. Oh, hang on a second, what's, the, what's happening now? What's happening now? Like it probably took me like five times longer than it would do if there were if subtitles or they were just talking. And, and I'm an experienced coin worker and I had trouble. So the tutorial, I'd, the instructions yeah. are just dreadful. You'll get there eventually if you keep rewinding and playing it and rewinding and playing it. But you'd expect for the money that you're paying for this, that the tutorial and the How instructions would be better. I don't know. I think it's about 80 quid or something. 70, oh. 80 quid. I don't know. Um, but in terms of the actual quality of the coins, they're really well made. They'll probably last a very, very long time. Uh, the gimmicks are really good. Everything is wonderful. I mean, the, the little uh, packaging that it comes in is great, uh, but you have to be aware that the instructions are just, it's its like wading through treacle. Yeah, I'm going to give this 90%. I'm giving this 95%. I'm going to do it. I love it. It's one of the, it's one of the tricks that I've got most excited about recently, but I have to mark it down because the instructions are so terrible. Uh, so I'm going to give it 90%. It could have been trick of the week if... It could if, have been, yeah. Yeah, could have been. could have been. But it's 95%. It's good. Uh, I'd highly recommend it, but if you buy it, be prepared to sit there and watch it over and over again, trying to figure out what's going on. But when you get it, you're going to be really super excited and it's going to be something that you're probably going to keep in your act. So there you go. 95% recommended. So next up, we have The Appearing Beer by Mago Murphy. This is The Appearing Beer. Uh, what is The Appearing Beer? Well, basically, you show a tankard and you make beer appear in it. It's a really surprising appearance like it is a really surprising appearance and it's got a glass wow it's full now there's a se there's several different handlings the tutorial is only 15 minutes long and that's all it needs to be 15 minutes and uh there's several handlings uh sitting down standing up on a table walk around and all different things like that uh, we're going to get Ryan to do a performance of it. Ryan's going to do a performance of the table handling. So this is when it's on a table. Um, and when the table handling, you actually have the cup on the table, don't you? Yeah. But you have the tankard on the table and then you show the tankard and then you, yeah, you the make the way Yeah, the tankard is underneath A. Oh, was that, was that your attempt at a <laughs> silk production? Because... It's underneath a silk. That was terrible. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Um, let's let's have a look at Ryan and do the uh, the appearing beer, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about what we think. Underneath this handkerchief, under here, I have a beer glass. Once the beer glass says, I just put it under the hanky and I just pull back and I can make some beer appear. Cheers. 
Okay, so that's the that's the table version, and that's really cool. I quite like the idea of bringing something out. The idea is that you bring something out, you put it on the table, you have them guess what it is, and then when you pull it away, you show it's a tankard, and then you can make the beer appear inside it. And 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 what's really yeah. nice is it's real beer. It's yeah, not like you drank it at the end. It's yeah, empty. It's just got a few drinks. Drug, drug, Dregs. Drugs. Yeah. Uh, it's really, it really is real beer and it really looks impossible, like it really does. Now, the stand up handlings are actually quite clever. He's got three or four ways of doing this. Yeah. And, and the whole idea is that you bring a tankard out, you show a handkerchief, you show it completely, you cover a, up the glass and you make, a, uh, you make the beer appear in the tankard. Yeah. Uh, the interesting thing is if you're doing walk around and you want this to be a walk around bit, you can almost instantly reset it because where you put the gimmick in order to make the beer appear, you can just put it back in the same place at the end yeah, of every he, performance. He well, you don't want to talk about where you've got it, but it. there's lots of different places yeah. that you can have it depending on the particular he handling. And he's also got a really nice handling where you make the tankard appear first. So you can show the, show the handkerchief, show that there's nothing under there, make the tankard appear, show the tankard and then make the beer appear. And the nice thing is once the, once the, once the beer has appeared, um, if you were walking and doing restaurants, for example, you could put your tanker down and nobody would be able to see it's gimmicked. If they picked it up and tried to drink it or whatever, they might. But if you, but just by looking at it, they wouldn't find anything. So you could, if you're working a restaurant, for example, you could make the tanker appear, stand up, walk over to a table, make the tanker appear. Then you could make the beer appear. And then once you've done that, you can put the beer down, do anything else that you want to do. And as you walk over to the next table, you can put the gimmick away, five second reset, and you're back in the game and you're ready to do it again, right? Yeah. Um, the angles are really good. The angles are not a problem at all. It's very easy. What would you say it's easy to do? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much... Yeah. Almost self-working, isn't Almost it? Self -working. Almost self-working. Very easy to do. Um, the only thing is... You basically, all, all you got to do is just go... Yeah. The only thing that I'd say is if you're going to do this and you're going to do it as part of a walk around set, you'd want to do it quite early on because you do, wouldn't want the gimmick. Yeah, it fooled me and you. Yeah, you wouldn't. What I mean is you wouldn't want to be doing it like 15 minutes into your act and you're holding out the gimmick for 15 minutes because the gimmick has got real loose beer in it. So you wouldn't want to be like jumping around like when you're performing, you're very animated and you're all over the place. I could imagine if you were doing yeah, the... Yeah, just like, um, well, let me just get this in the night. Yeah, I could just imagine by the time you made the beer appear, you'd be yeah, covered well, in beer at, already. Yeah, at Blackpool, at Blackpool, I was like, just like bouncing around, touching people on the shoulder. Yes, you were. If I, I had that where he had it in one of the positions and a beer all over me. Yeah, you'd be like, hang on a minute, is that kid drinking beer? He stinks of beer. <laughs> no, it's just doing a beer production. <laughs> After he did his cube act. Yeah, it's not very good. Um so yeah, I mean it's it's a really great uh... Oh yeah, I didn't make beer appear because that would have been bad if I had that. Yeah, uh, but you're doing this on your Instagram, aren't you? You said yeah. you're gonna do this on your Instagram. We, we, we've got the Are you gonna do this in your residency? As an intro or not? Maybe. I don't think you are. Probably not, but mm. maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You'll try it, maybe. Yeah. I really like this. I think that I'm going to do this in a parlour show. I think this would make a great opener. I'm going to make the... Uh, my, my plan is, just to let you guys know what I'm doing, I'm going to use Splash Bottle to make the tankard appear. So I'm going to blow up a balloon, make a tankard appear, bring out... Oh, yeah, you tried to do that with the phone. Yeah, then bring out a handkerchief, and then make the beer appear. I'm going to put the beer down. I'm going to go back and drink it every so often. Did you, did you like, put the phone... In the no, no, you're talking about a different trick. I tried to show you pressure by Daniel Garcia, which is Can pushing a pushing it? a pushing a phone into a balloon. But the balloon that? that I was using wasn't the right type of balloon. But yeah, I'll show you. It's a really old trick. It, it was invented before you were even born. Uh, but I'll show you. I'll teach you. It's very easy. You should do it on Instagram. But anyway, forget about pressure. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to do this in my parlour show. I'm going to make a tank appear. Then I'm going to make a. Uh, I'm going to make the beer appear in it. Put it to one side. I'm going to keep it there and I'm going to keep going back to it. I think that's really good. Love this. I think if you're a stage performer, if you're a cabaret performer, I think this would get a really good reaction. You can do it walk around, absolutely, but there are limitations that you need to be aware of. You don't want to keep the gimmick uh, kind of held out for too long. Uh, but I'm going to give this 90%. I'm going to do it. I think it's really smart. I think it's a very elegant solution. I think it's a really unique trick. I really like it. What are you giving it? I'm going to give this 79%.
No, that tells me you're not going to do it. You're not going to do it, yeah. Okay, so 79% from Ryland, 90% from me. You're doing it. I'm doing it, yeah, 100%. It's going in my parlor show. 90% from me, 79% from Ryland. It's really good. Let's move on to the final trick of the week. Okay, so the final trick is called Checkpoint. Um, uh, this is Checkpoint right here. Does it say who's by? Probably not. Can you read that? By Hyde Project. Hyde Project, there you go. So uh, Checkpoint by Hyde Project. Now there's two of these that you can get. I'll tell you right now, this is insanely expensive. So you can get two of these. Um, you can get the normal version where you get 10 receipts Which is what or you get, no 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 this is the deluxe version where you get 50. Ooh. the deluxe version is almost 70 pounds and when you consider oh that you get God. 50 of these and each one of them gets ripped up each one of them gets destroyed when you do a performance when you do one performance I want ten then. each one of them gets ripped up you're spending 70 pounds on 50 you're spending about one pound 15 or something per trick um, so it's something that you need to be aware of. This is not a cheap trick to do. Um, but what it is basically is it's specially printed uh, receipts or specially printed um, uh, sort of bank statements. Uh, and the whole idea yeah, like. is, yeah, and the whole idea yeah, is that you can take these and you can use them to do a torn and restored receipt which kind of looks a little bit like a mismade bill. Now, their inspiration behind this was Sean Farquhar's Torn to Pieces. And when I say inspiration, it's very, 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 uh, it's very similar. There's virtually no difference between Torn to Pieces and, uh, and this, other than these become ready-made. Now, you get uh, receipts from lots of different places. So as Ryan just pointed out, there's Nike, uh, I mean, they say that there were, all of them will work in all countries, but that's simply not true. Nike would work in our country. Walmart wouldn't. Uh, you'd have to use the presentation that I used, which was, hey, I came back from America recently. Um, Bank of America just wouldn't work for us in this country at all. The Bank of America sort of ATM receipts, but that wouldn't work for us at all because we're not in America. We're not in America. Um, the Nike ones would. But y y y so would Nike unless you not work in America. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so it's basically made for Americans. Well, it's made for an American audience, but uh, they say it will work all over the world. And I suppose it will. You know, that you, it's plausible. If, if, well, it's plausible that I could have say a receipt in I my wallet it. and I've come back from America. You know, it's plausible you could say that. It's not really too much of an issue. But the thing is, this is being marketed as an everyday carry item. And it is actually a really good everyday carry item because you can just have a receipt in your wallet you can take the receipt out and you're good to go. You can go into this anytime, anywhere, and it ends up giving them an impossible souvenir that they get to keep forever. In fact, let me just do a quick performance of the basic version of this for you so you get a rough idea of what it's like. This is a performance of the basic version of Checkpoint. Do you know I went to America to Penguin the other day, right? Yes. Well, um, a, week ago. a few weeks ago. I, um, I went to a shop there called Walmart. I've still got the receipt in my pocket. You ever heard of Walmart? No. It's actually owned by the same people that own Asda. You know Asda, obviously, right? Yeah. And I've got this receipt from stuff that I bought when I was over there. But I just thought, I'd like to show you a trick. Would you like to see a trick? Yeah. I'm going to show you a trick with this Walmart receipt. Now, I want you to watch very carefully. Wait, you're going to rip it up. I'm going to rip it up. Because you've ever heard of the uh, magicians and known through the years. For ripping newspapers. Well, stores. ripping newspapers. We saw Playing Killian cards. at Blackpool, didn't we? What did he do? Rip a newspaper and it restored. Yeah, I mean, shortly after he drenched me with water. But, you know, let's not, let's not dwell on that one. Well, before he drenched you with water. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but then you've got magicians that cut ropes up and put them back together. And they... Uh, um, you know, they'll also uh, do uh, loads of different things, you know, yeah. like break watches and stuff. There's loads of different things. Anyway, I've got four pieces. Can yeah. you see that? Yeah. And I'm going to show you. Well, it's your choice, right? And I'm going to genuinely leave it up to you. Would you like to see a good trick or a miracle? Miracle. Oh, miracle's going to happen in your hands. Are you sure you want a miracle? Yeah. Okay, hold your hand out for me then. And put your other hand on top. Four pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch. Did you feel it? No. Lift up your hand. I can feel it now. Because what I've done is absolutely incredible because I've actually put this back together and I've restored it like I promised I would. But 
It looks like it's long. Bridge. Well, what I've done, <laughs> what I've done is I've actually gone one step further and I've actually put this back together the wrong way. So now you have a fully restored receipt that's kind of mismade and you can keep that as an impossible object and you can remember this moment that I showed you this incredible trick. So when you finish checkpoints, you end up with this, which is a really cool well, that's souvenir. Yeah, yeah, well, well, yeah. You, that's a really cool souvenir when you think about yeah. it. I mean, that is very like, magical. How the hell can you just get a receipt in quarters, but all switch around, like top to the bottom, and then switch them? Well, around. it's it's made. It's based on the mismade bill, yeah. and uh, uh, you that know that is an impossible. Well, thing. I mean, uh, Sean Falker was torn to pieces with this exact same trick but it used a picture instead of the receipt. Yeah. So you had a picture, which you kept in your wallet. You took the picture out, you ripped up the picture, and when you restored it, uh, the picture was restored, but it was like this in quarters. Now, I'll tell you right now, I actually prefer Torn to Pieces. And the reason I prefer Torn to Pieces is I think using a picture, it's got more presentational opportunities than a receipt. The disadvantage of using Torn to Pieces is that you have to have pictures taken and you have to go and get them specially printed in copy shops and it's a bit of a rigmarole with this you still uh, pay about 115 for each but week. but it'll end up working out cheaper than this with this if i really really like this when i've run out of them i have to go and buy more in order to do it again exactly uh however having said that i do think that this is better for an everyday carry if you're looking for something to just have in your wallet it's more organic having this in your wallet than having a picture in your wallet. A picture is better if I was at an actual gig, but if I was actually um, doing, you know, if I was wanting to put something in my wallet that I could use at the drop of a hat to show somebody a trick of to say, hey, show me something, this would be the better option because I can just say, hey, I've got the receipt in my pocket or I've got my receipt in my wallet. And again, although some of them aren't, they don't work in England or other countries. I think presentationally you can get away with it if you say that, hey, I've just come back from the States or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's very easy to do. What you just saw is the basic version. You'll be able to do that almost straight away with virtually no sleight of hand. There is two other versions uh, that are slightly more difficult. Not that hard. You could do them very, very easily. But what it allows you to do in the one version, they can sign two parts of this. And when they restore it, two parts of it are signed. And yeah, I know how to do that. No, and in the clever. advanced version, all four bits can be signed, which is really clever. And I think kind of just overkill, to be perfectly honest. Do you honest. need to sign the back though? No, no, they, they sign everything. Um, the thing is, I don't think, and I might be wrong, but if I, I do plan on using this. I've got a whole stack of them, so I'm definitely going to use them. I'm going to use this as part of my everyday carry. Yeah, what's the point in having them? When, mm. What's the point in having like another... 40 more you're not going to use them exactly that's like, that's like almost like 65 quid worth exactly so i am going to use them but yeah. uh I, I if i'm using them as part of my everyday carry i think that having them signed is almost overproving because if i was using this as part of my everyday carry and somebody said hey you know can you show me a trick you're a magician can you do me a trick or let's say i'm at a networking event and you know business colleague says show me a trick i can go yeah i've got a receipt in my wallet let me just do this i'm going to tear it up uh, i'm going to put it in your hand watch it's restored i don't think that the in that situation i don't think the signing thing adds will it at an actual gig maybe but if i was going to do this type of thing at an actual gig i would use torn to pieces because i think presentationally that would make more sense but i'm definitely going to use this but it's going to be part of my everyday carry uh they didn't uh yeah I, I, it's a uh, tutorial's good it does what it's meant to, you know, it works absolutely fine. They explain it in great detail. Um, they left no stone unturned. I'm going to give this 90%. Uh, it's good, but please be aware it is not a cheap trick to do over and over again. You're not going to want to get this and do it like 15 times in one night in your residency. What do you think? Are you going to do this or not? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, but maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. So what are you going to give it? You're not sold on it, I can tell. 90. 85. You, 85. You, you really love Torn to Pieces though, don't you? Yeah, 85. Yeah. 85. Okay, 85% from Ryland, 90% from me. It's good, but be aware it's expensive. There's limitations. Um, but if you like what you saw me do, go for it. Another review show. In the bag. That's another review show. In the bag.
Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not doing more than three. Right, yes, that is. I forgot the answer. Oh. <laughs> Quick question. How old are you going to be before you stop the whole, that's another review show in the bag? Is it going to be 10 or 11 or 12 or 13? Or is it going to be 18 or 20? Or are you going to be doing it forever? 200. Oh, my God. <laughs> Um, oh my god, okay. Um, at the beginning of July. At the beginning of July, I'll hold you to that. Mm. That is another review show in the bag, guys. Thank you so much for joining us once again. Uh, don't forget, if you want to check out a lot of the tricks before we review them, then just go follow Ryland on Instagram. He can't help himself. He films them for himself at the same time as he films them for this. And because we're filming like two or three weeks in advance with the review show, they always go up in his Instagram channel first. In fact, you've just filmed the appearing beer and the, what was the other one that you filmed? It wasn't a receipt. Oh, it was the uh, uh, distancia? Yeah. yeah. But I did it in a different way. I didn't do it in a hand. I just lifted my hands up and it mm. just lifted. So he's just filmed both of those for his Instagram. So uh, make sure you follow Ryland on Instagram. He is Ryland the Kid Magician. You're on almost 700 followers right now. Yeah. And while you're at it, you may as well follow him on YouTube as well, at Ryland the Kid Magician. Don't forget, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow on Thursday with the magic stuff at 9 o'clock, shorts at 2 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, a magic live. We're going to be back next Wednesday reviewing a whole bunch more stuff. But uh, thank you very much for joining us on the Craig and Ryland Review Show. Thank you very much for joining us right here on Magic TV. We'll see you again soon. I'm Craig. I'm running. We'll see you again. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.